Welcome back to Look Closer. Well, I've driven 700 k's north of Perth to find one single species of spider, but it's a very special kind of peacock spider, Maratus constellatus, the starry night peacock. So where we're at is the Kalbarri National Park, which is 700 k's north of Perth on the Murchison River. The spot that I'm at is Nature's Window, which is a beautiful rock formation at an oxbow on the river. And it's a fantastic spot, especially in this kind of light where it really, really lights up. But the other interesting thing about this spot is one of only two specimens of Maratus constellatus has been found here. And I'll just, I think it's that uh, bush just up ahead that was found on. And I'm pleased to say that I have found two more individuals. That'll be number three and four on that same bush. So let's go check it out. He's not really one for sitting still for too long. So we're gonna have to follow him around a bit, I think. I've gone through previous episodes on peacock spiders talking about when they're out, how, what time of day they're out. This guy breaks all the rules. I've been searching since about 2.30 this afternoon all the way through prime peacock time and I didn't find a single thing until 4.30. So the sun's just about to go down, all the peacock spiders should be going to bed but that's when these guys seem to be coming awake. Let's have a little bit of a talk about this fella's name. So I've called him Maratus constellatus and the starry night peacock. Let's start with his scientific name, Maratus constellatus. If we look at his coloration, it'll give us a clue as to why he's called that. So at the front on his head, he's got these red racing stripes. And at the very back, he's got those black and white checkers. But in the middle, he's got this beautiful field of blue with yellow dots all over it. And the person that named it Joseph thought that looked like a starry sky. So it got the name Constellatus after cluster of stars. So how about the common name, the starry night peacock? Well, some other bright spark thought that this guy looked like uh, Van Gogh's starry, starry night painting. And I'm sure you can see the resemblance. For the same reason, the blue sky and the yellow dots on his back. So why is this fella so rare? Why haven't we seen so many of them like we have for many of the other peacock spiders? I found two individuals today, which brings the total number of animals recorded for this species to four, which is pretty rare. But if you look around this place, you can see it's not really that hospitable if you were to go too far off the mark tourist track. Also, most people that come out here are usually looking at the views, not sticking their heads into the scrub to look for tiny spiders. Picking up on something else we know about peacock spiders, the males will only dance for the females. So if all four animals that have been found have been boys, it stands to reason that no one has seen this species dance yet. I was hoping to be the first to catch it on film, but unfortunately, no girls, no dance. Maybe we'll have better luck next year. And that's about all I've got for you folks. So the sun's going down, it's time for me to get out of here. Got a bit of a walk back to the car and a drive back home. We'll see you next time.